Hey y'all, just a quick video. I want to talk about uh, a lot of talk lately about DNP, it seems. This is something that used to be popular uh, quite a few years ago, and I thought it had faded out of popularity. But lately, there seems to be some talk about it, and everybody is uh, voicing their opinion on how dangerous it is or or uh, if it's safe, or if there's a safe way to use it, or whatever. Well, I'm here to say, is it dangerous, or is it just stupid? Oh, it's both. It's dangerous, and it's stupid. Okay, there's enough that we do that's already dangerous. If you're really training hard, if you're really pushing, then uh, that's dangerous in and of itself. Drug-free or, or, or enhanced. It's very easy to get injured, you can tear a muscle, you can all kind of things to sideline your training. The other thing is, you know, if you're not a professional, you know, bodybuilder or athlete or whatever, and it's not paying your bills, do you really need DNP? I mean, come on, do we do we need just to to come up with every single kind of compound and chemical concoction and drug we can think of and pour that in the mix for all this crap in your body? Uh, let's think about how it works for a minute. Have I ever used it? Yeah. I didn't like it. Um, to tell you the truth, the benefits that I saw from it was really the worst I ever looked um, was when I used DNP. Now you can say it's because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I uh, didn't have any experience with it. But um, uh, there were some people around me that had quite a bit of experience with it. Um, and I knew 100% guaranteed you know of, of its purity and of its weight and exactly what it was and how much of it but uh end result it, it really wasn't worth it and it, it presents a whole bunch of new challenges with it which there's no need for me to even go into because like i said if you're not really like if it's not paying your bills you, you're not there okay you're not there I don't see guys walking around all day long looking so far out there and so crazy that they really need to think about every little edge like that. Um, uh, let's think about it for a second. Okay, the shit is yellow, of course, like a fluorescent yellow. It stains everything it comes into contact with. It's so uh, prolific. In, in, in its ability to stain things and transfer that you just pick a capsule out of once you have it encapsulated you have it in a little uh, vial or whatever you have to be careful just handling it if you have any um, cotton or anything stuffed in the, to take up some of the volume in the bottle the cotton turns yellow it doesn't even have to touch the shit just being in the bottle with it you know, just partly touch it the whole thing turns yellow you pick it up with your fingers your fingers turn yellow you know, you touch your shades or your curtains, they turn yellow. You sweat, you sweat yellow. It stains your sheets yellow. You piss, it's yellow. You take a shit, it's fucking yellow. So, if you're going to take this thing orally, which means it has to survive two passes and deliver to have an effect, its effect is still so powerful that this capsule ends up having the ability to come out through every pore in your body and sweat yellow. Alright, so what's it doing all your organs, every other thing? Uh, it would be one of my highest nominations for a compound that's more than likely car uh, carcinogenic. But, um, you know, what do I know? So, point is, it's your body. Do what you want with it. But why even bother to ask an opinion? You can't really make an intelligent decision. You know, you've already decided what you're going to do. If you're going to put this shit in your body, go ahead and do it. But you're going to be really disappointed when uh, when you find that it really is, doesn't really give you much of any advantage over what you could have done without it. And that uh, a lot of disadvantages. You feel like shit, you're really flat, you can't get a fucking pump. Um, and I don't think you're going to be able to take this shit and just eat pizzas and subs and get caught up. That may be true to some extent, but... You're going to pay for it because uh, the more carbs you eat while you want it, the more you're going to burn. The hotter you're going to feel, the shittier you're going to feel. 
no energy. I mean, just it's just fucking garbage. It feels like you're killing yourself. I just don't, uh, you know, Christ, just lift the weights, eat the fucking food, you know, and that's it. Just leave it alone, or else just do it. Why ask anybody's opinion on it? Fuck, do you care what I think about it anyway, or anybody else thinks about it? It's your body, you know, it's your fucking liver you're going to be turning yellow. Uh, you think not? Your kidneys are turning yellow, think not? Okay, well, piss is yellow. The piss turns everything else yellow. The sweat is yellow. The sweat turns everything else yellow. So you don't think it's yellow in your organs? I think it probably is. Think it's harmless? You know, I don't know. But uh, I got a lot of other things I prefer to do than turn the whole inside of my body fluorescent yellow and and just uh, stain everything that comes in contact with yellow and feel like total shit and look like shit while you're on it. So. You know, do what you want to do, but it's just, then who am I? I'm a guy that doesn't even, I won't even run my kidneys dry to get, you know, to get the water out. There's other ways to look, you can, you know, it's, uh, there's so much unnecessary stuff that goes on. But uh, that's my, that's, you know, my input on it. Is it's, you know, is it dangerous? Yeah, pretty much everything we do is dangerous. Uh, is it stupid? Absolutely stupid. So, you know. This person can say it's dangerous, that person can say it's not. But uh, from my perspective, I don't think there's any arguing that it's just fucking stupid. Alright? You're not a professional bodybuilder. You're not one of the world's most elite physiques. You're not uh, risking your life to pay your bills through bodybuilding. Um, so, and even if you were, I'm not sure that everybody needs to do it. I know guys, matter of fact, I know a guy that, uh, I'm not going to bring his name up, but just placed pretty high in the... Uh, in the Olympia, and um, he consistently places pretty high at the Olympia. He doesn't fuck with it. So, you know, I know nobody believes anything. Everybody thinks everything's attributed attributed to drugs, but uh, it's really not. You know, all the drugs are out there available to everybody, and and yet the top guys are still the top guys, and the rest of the people aren't. All right, so let's just get back to maybe enjoying the working out and not really trying to just kill ourselves. Alright, so that's my opinion. Take care, have a good day, and uh, keep lifting.